Oh, right, all right, all right. Another day of Age of Empires. So, you want a meme, but you just don't know which civilization and which meme you want to run. Well, I have good news for you because this is the ultimate AOE 2 meme guide for best strategies and tips as well as build orders for every single strategy possible for every single civilization possible. I don't know why I put so much emphasis in all of that, but we're going A to Z and you're going to get the full overview. In this one, we'll be looking at the first f -f -f five civilizations. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump right into Armenians. I could go over every single unique aspect that they have in their blah blah blah, but I don't think that would be very useful as you guys can read, at least I hope most of you can read. The main thing is that you can get the Spearman line early as well as the Militia line, excluding of course men at arms another very unique aspect of the armenians is the ability to construct a fortified church from which they can construct warrior priests as well our meme strats are going to be based around these two functions but poop lord what are the meme strats and what are the build orders well First on the list is the Armenian Longswords in Feudal. I think this is one of the most powerful meme strats that you can do because you get a Castle Age unit in Feudal Age. The build order is also not too overly complicated. You just start off with a whole bunch of Villagares onto food. After that, you kind of mix in some wood, make a mule cart, eventually make a mill, push in your deer, go 20 pop and loom before clicking up. At this point, you're going to switch a whole bunch of villagers onto wood so that you have enough to make a brax. Then move your mule cart from wood onto gold, putting about two to three villagers on gold, rest all on food. Pick up supplies, pick up the men at arm upgrade, pick up the longsword upgrade. I know it takes a little bit of time to get all of this rolling, but once you do, it is well worth because they shred all melee units. Pro tip, if the opponent goes for archers, make sure that you make a blacksmith getting the armor upgrade earlier than you would otherwise. Talking about wood, you can use 50 wood and 125 stone to drop a tower. The main goal is to keep them off of gold. Make sure that you're scouting well and keeping them off of all of their gold sources. That way they can't mass archers. Eventually you will have to transition into farms so make sure that either your mule cart next to the gold is near a wood line so you can pick up wood that way or make a second mule cart so that you can pick up wood and transition into more farms. I think one racks longsword production is bucks a plenty and that is all she wrote. I guess this next one is also a meme strat that is possible with Armenians, but I have no idea what kind of build order you should do for this because I did it on Nomad and I did it for Bingy Bong's birthday, but this is the Armenian All-In Dark Age Spear Rush with a TC drop. Yeah, I have no idea what to say about this, but it was really fun. We did this for his birthday. You make a whole bunch of spears, you vilify it, you TC drop, and you collect a whole bunch of wood and food stuff. Pro tip, don't... Yeah, there's, there's just nothing. There's just absolutely nothing that I can say. I mean, look at this absolute insanity that is ensuing right now. How, how, how does one even make sense of any of this? Another great meme strat that you can only do with Armenians or Georgians is the fortified church rush. I actually think this one works better with Georgians, but since Armenians can do it as well and they get the one additional relic into their first fortified church that they can construct, 
I thought I would add this on the list even though I'm playing as Georgians here. You're going to go for a 20 pop up to food Dell age. Basically going for a whole bunch of food, making sure that you just have enough wood to click up, selling your stone, and then idling to get up to Castell age, dropping fortified churches on your opponent's T. C. Uh, once again, this works better with Georgians because Georgians repair for half the cost, making this very, very strong. Make sure that you only garrison five villagers plus relics into your TCs, and you can make a whole bunch of warrior monks, regular monks, to eventually defeat your opponent. This is a low eco, high reward if you w I don't, yeah, sure, whatever. Bye. Next one. Another meme strat for Armenians is, is all in warrior monks. Uh, this does not work very well because warrior monks get countered by feudal age units, but I figured I would include this one as well. We've spent way too much time on Armenian, so we're going to hop into Aztecs next. Aztecs have a lot of sweet bonuses, but the main thing is that they get access to Egel warriors in addition, their monks get plus 5 HP for every single monk tech that you pick up, making these bad boys tanky as bleep. The most unique Aztec meme strat, in my opinion, is the Smash, in which you go for a 25 pop castle age, incorporating eagles as well as a whole bunch of monkeritos getting that additional HP by means of picking up a whole bunch of monk techs, as well as siege to pressure your opponent early in Castell Age. This is mostly done on closed maps such as Arena or Hideout. The build order is as followed. Seven on food, four on two wood, rest on two food, Click up to Fudel once you get to 25 Paparito. Also, make sure that you're using your eagle to scout out all of the relics. We're going to want to collect those as they generate us 33% more gold than other civilizations. Make two farms, market plus blacksmith, one villager plus loom. Selling two clicks of stone and moving our berry villagers onto gold. Constructing a barracks for map control with eagles. Food villagers under the TC go to wood to make sure that we have enough for double monastery plus siege workshop. You can eventually put more wood villagers onto gold as needed. Two villagers forward to construct those buildings. As well as to repair rams. Open with rams followed by mangonels making sure that you're picking up all of the relics, readjusting your position if there are castles, picking up redemption if there is enemy siege, and if you're really just not able to get through, just buy yourself up to imp with a castle to then treb your opponent's castle down, breaking in and taking down your opponents. I laughed before because this strategy has a lot of different parts to it, and it's going to fail several times. Just keep practicing, just keep at it, and don't let this meme just be a dream because it's really satisfying if you pull it off. Hooey! Next one is the all-in eagle rush in feudal age. This one's probably best executed by Incas or Mayans with the extra villager, but Aztecs can do this rush as well. All you have to do is go for a 20 pop upper, start with 7 on food, 3 on 2 wood, Food, 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 because it's good, 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 good. And loom. The one big thing here is that you don't need a mill right away. Up for the mining camp, up for a barracks. Once you get to feudal, we're going to add additional barracks and move on to wood or straggler trees. Most of your economy should be at gold at this time, as eagles are gold heavy. Pump out additional raxes, maybe get a blacksmith for the upgrados. We can drop a tower as well and overwhelm our opponent with eagles is the ultimate goal. Stop making villagers, of course. 
Of course, the next civilization is one that I don't actually own, at least at the moment. This video is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. We have only reached three. If you like this kind of content and would like more of this, please consider liking and subscribing as well as buying me Bengalis because I miss these meme strats that I'm about to present to you. Bengalis have a lot of very, very unique bonuses, but their main thing is that they get two villagers per TC when they age up and their monks are super duper tanky. And with that, let's jump right in to the meme strats. The first meme strat is something that I actually missed in the tech tree, which is their unique unit, the Rafa. Phosphor has been popularizing the Rafa recently with his new build. It's basically a knight that costs only wood as well as gold. Yeah, they are weak to skirmishers, but you can up the up these upgrade these up the wa freaking zoo. Almost anything applies to the Rafa. The build order here is really nice. It's a standard 24 pop click up with six onto food, four onto wood, rest onto food, eventually kicking up to feudal age, getting one villager plus loom, four onto gold. The reason that this works so well and why you can drop this castle so early is because every time you age up, you get two additional villagers. So actually you're getting 20 four plus two, 26, and then you get the castle, so you have 28 plus the one that you created, so you have 29 villagers. It's a very strong economy after a potentially all-in pusher. The craziest thing is really that you don't need any additional food. You can just move everybody onto wood as well as gold to keep making Rafas. Potentially even making a second castle, although you might wanna have food for all of those upgrados that we talked about earlier. This with a sling strat could also be very, very strong. Moving along before chat says something inappropriate. This is actually also why I got rid of chat. This was from a very, very long time ago. But what is not a long time ago is the Bengali Monk Rush. The Bengali Monk Rush is super duper strong. You can get away with going for a 20 pop upper once again because the plus two, plus two, and you have a strong economy behind it. 10 onto food, five onto wood, rest onto food making a market and a blacksmith selling your stone and that way clicking up at this point move away from food move on to wood move on to gold make two monasteries siege workshop potentially a barracks to make spearmen but bengali monks get that plus free melee plus free pierce armor so you should be okay if you have a large enough monk mass at this point, we can apply the same logic as we did to the Aztec smush and use what we learned in that rush. The main difference is that we have spears instead of eagles and we have elephant rams instead of regular rams. This is important because elephant rams can be healed by monks. They are not called elephant rams. Battering elephants, it's fine, don't worry about it. Because we have one more strat for you, how you can beat the 200 population limit with Bengalis. On a map such as Michi, where you're going for a land wall, you can create hundreds and hundreds and millions of TC, well, allowing that you have the stone and the wood for it. And then when you click up to Imperial Age, every single TC will generate to villagers it is glorious and your economy cannot be better i suggest deleting all of your bills right before and having 200 trade carts that way you have and a whole bunch of villagers and a whole bunch of trade carts at this point just sling your persian ally for infinite war elephants and you should be good to go Regardless, that's about all the time I have for this video. I don't want it to make it too, too long. But if you do want to see this series continue, please let me know in the comment section below. We are farming engagement shamelessly. You know what's also shameless? Me. Keep on walking. Don't let your memes just be dreams. Poop Lord, out. There is something majestic about tons and tons of Persian war elephants doing their thing. It, it has to be said, and let's just enjoy this for a moment. 
It's you and me together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're pushing to the limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's really Poop Lord out. <laughs>